All right, Sean. Well, first and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. The Rana is today. I was impressed with great millstone with Thomas Truth and Rule Well. Peace, blessing, and salutation. I come out there, scared of bars before it comes out of earth. That's serving the truth, not serving the sincerity. Do I say Shalom? Mom. This is the brother Nabal that comes to another video in the spirit. At the top of this video is going to be about how they don't fear the Lord. You know, and I'm talking about just two thirds of our people, man, just Jake, you know, in general. You know, Jake out here don't fear the Lord. You know, I was watching the brother's video and he was saying that Jake is losing that fear of the Lord. Okay, well, and that's because what? Jake is getting comfortable and that's not the mindset we're supposed to be. We're not supposed to be getting comfortable in this in this place. The scriptures say, arise and depart. Okay, for this is not our rest. They'll destroy you even with a sore destruction. Okay, so that's why we have to arise and depart from this place when you don't fully... Arise and depart from this place when you don't fully serve the Lord, when you're not fully in this thing, when you fully haven't given over your heart and your mind to the Lord, and you, the things that we're seeing are going to happen where the Lord is exposing these people, okay? And and they and the Lord is basically taking the spirit away from them, which is which is a scary thing to do. You know, if the Lord takes his spirit away from you, then you might as well you do at that point. Brothers always say, even I remember Apostle Gabar always say he rather he rather the Lord just take him out to just take his spirit away from him. Okay? Cause you got people out here that then lost the spirit, but they still think they're right, they still think they're serving the Lord. The Lord has given given them a strong delusion, man. And that's scary. Okay? And then what then what? When you lose a spirit, you start doing things that you, that you know you're not supposed to be doing. You know, you're not you're not holding the Sabbath day. Even if you was holding the Sabbath day, you you doing wicked stuff on the Sabbath. You probably cooking on the Sabbath. You're not supposed to be cooking. Brother, talking about, ha about having sex on the Sabbath. You got Jake out here still smoking weed. Now you smoke weed on the Sabbath. Man, you just completely just went completely back into the world, man. And because what you lost that fear, you lost that fear of what the Lord can do to you. But the Lord has given you examples, even with the Lord pin examples playing in your face. You got Jake out here who don't who don't fear it. So that's why I'm gonna grab this. this is Proverbs one and seven. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Kind of that's the main thing. They despise instruction. Jake do not want to be corrected. Jake hate being told what to do, man. Jake really can't stand that. Like, you probably had Jake that came in this thing, and they probably were just tolerated at the beginning. But as they continued to grow in this thing, they just couldn't do it no more. They thought, like, you know, they thought this was like a, um, like military or something, which, which we, we conduct ourselves not like in the military sense, but it's, it's order. We just have order. That's all it is. But they look at it like if anything else, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get in and start off here. And then as time go, I'll probably get up there where I'll be the one in charge and I'll be the one giving the orders. No, it don't work like that. Because that's a carnal way of thinking. This is a spiritual thing. The Lord sets up men to be in certain positions that he sees fit. So when when you got Jake that's probably thinking like that, then what? They end up falling out. Because what? Jake paid instruction. Let me grab this in Proverbs. This is Proverbs 17 and 3. It says, The finning pot is for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tried the heart's kind. And that's what you can see that's going on right now. The Lord is trying people with hearts out here, which is your heart that goes to your mind. The Lord is trying Jake's mind out here, and, and, and the real man of Jake is coming up. That's why here from um, our apostles, they always talking about how it's always sifting season. It's always sifting season because what you got it. The Lord has to weed out the the the, the wicked the wicked men among our people. He got to weed them out, so so the remnant can can stay. So the so the elect can be, so it can be shown who the elect is. So you got to kind of see we people out. And so that's what you see that's going on right now. You know. 
Like it's and it's scary though. It's scary, but hey man, the scripture says if it were a thing to fall in the hands of the living power, but people don't fear the Lord no more. They lost that fear. Grab this. This is Psalms 36 and 1. It says, To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord. The transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of Yahweh before his eyes. For he flattered himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be helpful. Kind. So he don't, he, they, they, they just don't fear no more. They don't think that the Lord, they don't think that the Lord is looking upon them. Scripture is talking about because since it's a given evil work is not, um, let me, let me grab that. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 said, because since it's against the evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil kind. So you have Jake that probably think like that. You know, Jake probably done did, probably in his ministry done done some shit they weren't supposed to do. And what they're abusing the grace and the mercy of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And say, well, fuck it. If there's nothing happened this time, I'm a, I may be able to get away with this and get away with that. And then that way of thinking it what pushes you further, further away from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because you're not supposed to be adding sin onto sin. You're supposed to be offending less. But you're offending more. Because what? You're basically being straight up disrespectful to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because what? You taking you taking his long suffering for a weakness. Yeah, the Lord is long suffering, but you that don't mean that he's not gonna never get you. But you not I mean you just can you continue to keep adding sin on the sin. But what? Because people 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 fear the eyes of men more than they fear the eyes of the Lord. Which is crazy. Because what? The eyes of the Lord are what ten times brighter than, brighter than the sun. The Lord sees everything. There's nothing you can hide from the Lord. But they think because they doing it behind closed doors or they doing it not around brothers that they that they ain't going to be found out. Or Jake in general. Jake thinks they, whatever they doing in the dark is not going to come to the light. But the Lord is showing you right now how he's bringing everything to the light. From these wicked ass pastors, from these false prophets, and from the men that that were in these things that had fell out. If you can see that the times we're in now is is serious and a scary time that's going on in Israel, man, then I don't know what you I don't know what you're looking at, because this ain't the times to be playing. You know, just just like just this this past weekend and week, man, we had that. Arctic storm over the whole country, you can say. That people have died from. I just seen on uh, on this on a social media platform page that a woman got ran over by a snowmobile. He was just cleaning the snow. He backed up, didn't even know she was back there, went forward and went forward again and, and killed her. That's the type of time we in when the Lord is passing judgment like that. So if you're not here fearing the Lord like we're supposed to. <laughs> and the Lord gonna make you fear him, but by but the type of fear he's gonna do is gonna be too late, cause you be up there in the spiritual room with him. This is a rock. Twenty three, and I'm a uh, start at eighteen. It says, "A man that breaketh well, like saying thus in his heart, who seeth me, I am compassed about with darkness. The walls curb me." And nobody seeth me. What need what need to I what need I to fear? For most I will not remember my sins. Such a man only fear the eyes of men, and know that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and concerning the most secret parts kind. It says beholding all the ways. The Lord sees everything. It says even concerning the secret parts. Your thoughts, man. The thoughts that you have. In. If you out here even thanking wickedly the Lord, know about it. That's why that's why we say you gotta rebuke any type of wicked thought that idols in your mind because once you once you start letting that thought linger, then it starts to 
it starts to get bigger. I don't like saying the word manifest, but that's that's kind of what happens when you have an evil thought. You start thinking about it and start meditating on this, you know, you end up doing it. Because what you wasn't fighting, you wasn't, you wasn't, you're not strong enough to fight off those thoughts. You want to give in to the flesh more than fight it. Because you don't fear the Lord. The Lord sees everything. All the angels doing is just checking it down or writing it down and going back reporting. And you ain't got too many fuck ups. You don't. Not with the eye by Shemyao Shai. That's why we're in this position we're in now. From all our fuckers that we did. So with you knowing that, you should be one of, like, 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 like I said, a fan less. I just could say a fan less. But Jake don't have that fear. That's why the Lord is going to preserve some of them. The Lord is going to preserve some of Jake. And the judgment that they touch with is going to be, is going to be an example. This is Isaiah 66 and 1. It says, Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? God, the Lord created everything. How you how you trying to fool the, the, the supernatural being that created everything? That that we don't even know what begin his beginning is or where it starts. You, like when you think about that, like the Lord always was. He just is. That's why his name is. He exists. He just always was there. And and did all of this. We have a beginning. The Lord made our beginnings. What is the Lord beginning? We don't even know. We don't know how that worked. That's a different level of thinking. I think it would bug you out. But I'm just saying, that's the type of power that, we, that we're dealing with. That's the type of power that we have on our side as Israelites. And you want to play with it? Okay. It says, for all those things have my hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembled at my word. And that's what the Lord is looking for. Ones with the contrary spirit and trembled at my word. And that's what Jake Jake has lost. Jake is not trembling at the words of Yahweh Hashem Shah because what? Obviously, Jake is not watching. The Lord said he set up us as watchmen. Be sober, be vigilant. You know, be on guard. But Jake not watching, man. So when Jake not watching, Jake don't see what's going on. When Jake don't see what's going on, then what? Jake started getting lack of days ago, and then what? Now they back on the bullshit, and that's just how I go. So, man, keep that fear of the Lord, man. You got to pray to the Lord to keep that fear of the Lord on you, man. And you got to be your watchman. You, you got to be watching. Came out here just be having your head stuck in your ass. You go back out here watching. Man. All right, all right. We're set up here to be watchmen. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. So, man, keep that fear of the Lord, man. And don't be out here abusing the Lord's grace and mercy. So that's pretty much it. Or when this video is at a fine, I'm going to close. I'll be giving our prayers to Yahweh. Bye, Shem Yahweh Shai. Bye, Shem Shalom.